All right, what's up, guys? Um, I wanted to do a trade recap. I know I did one pretty quick on Instagram, but I'll go a little more in-depth on the trade recap from today and what I was seeing and um, just kind of how the day went. So um, let's get into it. So starting from uh, the previous day, we had popped up and held the highs all day, just kind of chopping at the highs um, at the key level uh, 3780. So we were looking for that possibly to break to go long the next day. You know, um, it was holding, price was holding underneath. So we did want to see to get long break above and maybe retest on the top side. Uh, but we didn't. We ended up selling off overnight massively. And so there was a lot of weakness going into the market open today. And I know a lot of people were bearish because of that. Um, what I saw, we can go to the replay tool. I saw us come down to this key level around 3700, mine's 3709. Um, we did get some rejections down here and we did see some volume picking up. Um, I still need to work on taking things long at the open because I think that would have helped me a lot today. Uh, but we did break this trend line and retest it from the top side. So I think going long at the open wasn't a bad idea. I just need a little more faith and confidence in what I see in order to do that. So I typically wait for the day to play out a little bit um, and then get some signs and some signals uh, from the 15 minute. So we did see some strength going in the open. Um, I don't think anybody expected a lot of this at the open. So this was the opening candle here, ran up to key level 37.44. Really strong. I know that faked a lot of people out. I think a lot of people were looking to short up here at this level. Uh, we ended up breaking through it again, ran up even higher. We came back, tested it from the top side. This would have been a good long entry uh, once we closed above 37.44 and especially 37.50 um, to play a bounce off of the retest of 37.44. I did not do that. Um, if you look on the five minute though, it's a really good um, flag here. So the volume died off on the pullback. So that's how you know it's a flag and not a, a reversal. So if you got long on the doji candle here on low volume pullback with the stop under the low, uh, targeting the next area above 3780, that would have been a really good trade. Um, and then I do have this trend line here. Let me show you what I was seeing. Uh, we did have this trend line from the highs from the past week or so. So this high was FOMC and then yesterday's high. So we so we created a trend line and then we ended up breaking it on the run up earlier in the day. So once I saw that, we'll go a little farther. Once I saw us break this trend line on just, dude, we just rocketed out of the gate. Um, that's when I knew that we were looking bullish and I was looking to play long. Going off of the 15 minute closes though, uh, it was hard to get long really. Uh, the best entry, like I said, would have been a pullback here during the formation of the candle. Um, but we didn't take anything there. We had a big volume spike here. And then we spiked just before hitting four hour um, supply. And this spike was on lower volume, if you see that. So when I see uh, the peak of a trend on low volume, I'm not expecting a reversal, but I'm looking for a pullback for a second leg into either the high a day or to break the high a day. So we saw this. I knew that we were going to probably fall back. So I was looking for either a retest of this 3780 key level or maybe even the trend line. So we got a low volume pullback here. Didn't, didn't really show a lot. We were still pretty extended uh, so I wasn't looking too long this here since we just ran up you know almost a hundred points in an hour this one I did like I ended up taking this long um, due to the higher volume on this wick here and us breaking below the key level so I did long that uh, I, I took some partial profits on this candle because the volume wasn't higher i was expecting volume to be a little higher and for us to push a little more so this kind of showed me that we were probably consolidating so i did take some profits there and i moved my stop to break even uh, right here because previously it was under the low and then once i saw this next candle form we pushed higher 
and then we got and then we came down under this level close strongly at the low of the candle on higher volume that's when i knew we were going lower so i got out of everything on that trade for a small profit uh didn't make a ton and was just waiting for us to pull back a little bit more so if you took this short on that candle that was a great trade uh, you would have got what was it 78 down to 64 so about 14 points um, at this point on this lower volume drop so the volume died off on this drop candle i was still looking for a bounce back to the highs but i did need to see volume come in so we came back to this trend line right here and we tested it obviously it doesn't have to hit right on the dot but in this area and we saw a doji candle um, at the previous day close as well that usually acts as support and resistance too and we saw the volume pick up so this is where i went long here at 37.66 with a stop under the low at 37.58 so only about an eight point risk and we were targeting the high of day at 37.98 3800 so about an eight point risk for possibly a 30 point gain but we did have this area to contend with as well. So we went long there with a the stop. Uh, volume was low on that. Next candle uh, didn't give me a lot of faith in the run up, but I was hoping maybe volume would pick up as we got to this key level. So we did get to this key level here, 37.80. I did take some profits here, even though I should have held for the volume spikes. Um, I wasn't convinced that we were going to go any higher just due to the volume being so low on this push up. Usually if volume is dying off on either a move up or down, it shows that the move is not very strong. So we broke it a little bit here. Volume was still extremely low, so wasn't convinced we weren't going higher. This candle scared me a little bit, um, but volume did pick up and buyers did come back in. So this showed me that the buyers were active at this level. So that gave me a little more faith. So at this point I was holding a runner um, wasn't going to let it go red on me, but I did like, but I did move my stop to break even. And then after this candle, I ended up moving my stop under here. So I was in profit the whole way, just holding for the high of day. Volume did pick up after this hammer candle here. So we did form a, a rally base rally. So that's good for bulls. That shows strong buyers. We came back, tested it on low volume where the volume died off lower tested this zone and tested this 3780 from the top side so that also gave me faith that this was holding so we were going to see possibly higher highs next candle was a high volume doji but we were holding uh, the high of yesterday which is this dotted line we were holding above the close and we were holding above this trend line so really didn't have any reason to get out of my long just yet there weren't any very strong signs to sell and then this next candle came in and we popped on high volume into the high a day at 3800 finally hitting that four hour supply above and that's where i sold my runner now if i was still trading you see that this next 15 minute candle is even higher volume on the rejection from this area so that tells me that sellers are really stepping in here and if you look on the 30 minute chart as well the volume just came in massively volume was you know almost double what the previous candle was we broke the high and closed back in the range of the day so this was a very valid short i was already out for the day going to see a friend so i did not take it but this was a great short if you hadn't gotten a good trade in on, on the rest of the day so if you so you would have shorted the close of this candle with a stop above the high so that would have been about what 92 to 806 about about 14 points and ideally you'd probably want to target under uh, this 3780 level for the true re rejection and so if you did let it play out by the end of the day you would have made a nice little profit so that's kind of what i saw on the day um it was really hard watching this run up without really a pullback on the higher time frames um, but patience really did pay off seeing that the volume spike didn't come in at the high of day and looking for the pullback for a bounce uh, was a great choice 
And then this was also a great short from supply if you weren't already in a trade or if you were looking for a better setup during the day. So that was it. Um, let me know what you think. If you like these trade recaps and kind of what I'm thinking, let me know. I'll keep doing them regardless. If you hate them, sorry, just don't watch my channel then. But thanks all.